to us. Uh, oh, he says, oh, I'm coming mm -hmm. back. Well, we're scatter feeding. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. We got Miss Alyssa here. Even Gina's pretty excited about the scatter feeding for Alyssa. Yeah. See, Kelly is watching. Hi, Kelly. And another Kelly. Another Kelly watching. You can see Alyssa here playing with her her ball. It can be a little funky sometimes, yeah. Get my two fingers on there and well, there we go. Hello and welcome everybody. It is Thursday here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. And Timber, media <laughs> turn intern, <laughs> media intern Timber is uh, leading the live post today. Welcome everybody. As you can see, Liliger Alyssa is uh, already snacking away at some food that's been uh, placed in one of her puzzle toys there. And uh, hey, but you're probably already tuned in and kind of wondering, something looks different. Why is Gino on the other side and, uh, you know, vice versa? They, well, as a matter of fact, Gino and Alyssa has switched habitats. And we'll talk about that in just a moment once we get some more followers here you can say hi to the folks timber mm -hmm. Jeannie curry i saw lois a and if you want to flip through the comments timber all you do is just kind of raise uh your finger there you gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. see faith hi faith recognize your name of course Thanks for the stars, Torben. Thank you, Torben. Laura Reed. Hey, Naomi, Tanya. Happy Thursday. Here comes Alyssa. Good morning, Kathy. Yes, a habitat switch. A habitat switch, indeed. And we'll talk a little about that here in just a moment it looks like we're kind of stabilizing with our audience around 50 people we can catch up with her timber because as you know when we scatter feed we usually like placing food in all sorts of locations and it really uh, helps kind of just give that stimulation to a cat like uh, miss Alyssa, and um, also gives her uh, you know stimulation in two different types that mental stimulation and also some physical stimulation knock around that ball she's going to be climbing on her perches and platforms yeah she says i'll tell you what i really wish that there was a frog in this in this toy i don't know if anyone saw the video earlier this week that we shared Alyssa. well what it takes to get a lilager in a pool is uh for a frog to be jumping around in the water huh. that was that was entertaining wasn't it miss Alyssa? And as you can see too, Timber, you can turn around and see that Dash is very curious about his new neighbor. Dash has obviously been able to see Alyssa from afar, but uh, now that he has uh, uh, can get a real good look at her, he's certainly uh, pretty impressed by her beauty, and I don't blame him, Miss Alyssa. Mm -hmm. And Timber, we can see if she'll follow us out. Uh, she has some more food in her uh, kind of scattered around her habitat. So Here she comes. Us out. Yeah, what do you think, Missy? You can keep on welcoming everybody, Timber, to the post since we're kind of still getting rolling here. Keep on saying hi and letting everybody know they're watching the Wildcat Sanctuary. Michelle said hi from Texas. Thanks for tuning in, Michelle. We can come all the way up to the front, as a matter of fact. So, why, why, why are Gino and Alyssa in different habitats? <laughs> so, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment. I think Alyssa is probably about to find some more food that's been scattered in her habitat. I can see this log has some hunks of beef hanging out of it, and I think you can smell those hunks of beef, Alyssa. 
<laughs> I think Gino can smell it too back there. Yeah. There they are. Oh, nice. Nadia is saying, I can't believe how huge Dash has got. Dash has become quite the large tiger, which is why it makes a lot of sense when you see the size of Tigress Nova, Rescue Tiger Cub Nova, um, that unfortunately it's going to be that size comparison, uh, even though they may seem to have the kind of same levels of, uh, of kind of activity in terms of uh, just how kind of uh, playful they are, but very much so that size difference is going to be the biggest uh, thing that's going to prevent them from being companions. I saw Debbie asking, how old is this beauty? Alyssa was born in 2014 and came to us in 2021, uh, along with Thor Jr. and Aurora and Alana. That's correct. That's correct, pretty lady. And Alyssa is a lie liger, uh, which is unfortunately what you're seeing from a lot of uh, breeders and exploiters trying to make these uh, designer cats, if you will, that are going to attract... Uh, people that come through the gate and unfortunately these designer cats quote unquote are um, left with a host of genetic defects that are associated with that type of breeding um, but Alyssa is a, is a young cat and, and fortunately we don't see any type of those defects right now but um, obviously kind of bearing that in mind that's it kind of goes into the lifelong care of a cat like Alyssa and is something we're going to continually check on her to make sure that she's uh, in good health for the duration of her life. Yeah. <laughs> Snooping around there, Alyssa. And Ellen Simmons saying Gino sure is keeping his eyes on her. He is. He, he is definitely very interested to he, see what's going on he, over here. And he's been uh, definitely too kind of checking out his own habitat, as you can see, smelling around uh, because Gino and Alyssa have switched habitats. And uh, now that we kind of have uh, ourselves rolling here, why have Gino and Alyssa switched habitats? Uh, well, because Alyssa is going to be having a spay surgery uh, coming up in October. About halfway through October, Alyssa, along with the rest of the females from the Tiger King Rescue, so Alana and Aurora, uh, along with Tigress Polina, uh, are going to be having spay surgeries. And uh, Alyssa was moved over to this yard because she actually is going to have two large indoor bedrooms that she's going to be able to recover in uh, and the space surgery on a big cat as you would imagine that's a large incision and uh, for Alyssa her recovery period being able to confine her to that indoor space but still giving her a larger indoor space uh, is going to be most beneficial for uh, a safe and healthy recovery so a little sneaky <laughs> face yes so as you know, here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, we are a non-breeding uh, facility. We do not want to breed more cats for a life in captivity. Um, and also for that fact, um, but as well as uh, if uh, we spay our cats, we're also helping decrease and minimize the chance of certain cancers later in life. So that's another reason where cats like Alyssa are going to benefit from that spay surgery is uh, it's actually going to help you later in life, Missy. Yes, yeah, so with types of cervical cancers we can avoid. You get a shot of Gino over on Alyssa's perch there. That's fun. And you keep on scrolling through the comments. I love, you know, Timber, you've been here for how long? It's, it's Thursday. This is officially three weeks. Yeah, this Thursday marks three weeks. So three weeks, Timber. I'd love uh, oh, look there at we Gino go. and Alyssa. That's great. Um, uh, I'd love uh, if maybe some people want to quiz Timber, <laughs> ask her some questions, you name it. Let's, uh, let's hear it. And this is great too, seeing Gino and Alyssa. And, and I know that a lot of people, uh, you know, obviously when we introduced Alyssa, we made it clear that companionship's a very important thing to her. We can go and follow her. Uh, and uh, knowing that she can still benefit from companionship along her shared wall with Mr. Gino, I think we're learning a lesson uh, the hard way, Timber, where wherever we go, sometimes the cats go the opposite place. <laughs> and we can spend some time with Miss Alyssa because she had her food and obviously dashes out and we can do a little bit more of a stroll today. Maybe we can check in on Dash. Hey, is there a staff member available to confirm that Brianna's locked out of her bundle <laughs> and then are locked out of their yard? 
Oh, yep. Now you can see everyone decides not to want to be on camera. Well, They're not feeling it. Yeah, and truthfully, too, you can tell, and you can look over here, Timber, Dash is usually so infatuated with, with us humans. Uh, obviously, with a new neighbor, he's pretty infatuated with them. So, uh, definitely understandable that Dash is going to be choosing to fawn over a pretty new neighbor like Alyssa over us. So, why don't we keep shaking and moving? Maybe we can go around the corner and see if uh, the Cheetah Brothers are out and, and maybe hang out with them for a little bit. And keep your eye on those comments because yes. I uh, am hoping people are going to pull out <laughs> some, some tricks for you, Timber. I see Kathy asking who is my favorite cat and that's definitely a hard question. I spend most of my time with Josie and Edgar up in the office. Uh, so Edgar is definitely up on that list, and I feel like I kind of develop a new favorite every week. Uh, <laughs> I would say right now I'm really liking Pandora. She's just kind of making her way into my heart, but we'll see who my favorite is next week. Flavor of the week for Timber. I like it. Uh, Danielle asking, is there a difference between a liger and a liliger? So a liger is a cross between a lion and a tiger, whereas Alyssa is a liliger, meaning she is half lion and tiger cross, and then add another lion onto that. That's correct. That is correct. Looks like Daisy must be doing her own thing too. Which is totally fine. See what Kitu and Lavani are up to. Can let you under here, Timber. Alrighty. And you can just welcome everybody, Timber. Maybe some people just joined us, letting them know they're joint watching the Wildcat Sanctuary. If you don't mind. Kitu, Timber. of course. Thanks for joining us, Robin. Rose. Yep, so we are located in Sandstone, Minnesota, and we are a nonprofit rescue for big cats in need. Most of them coming from, you know, the exotic pet tree, the cub petting facilities, uh, people trying to have them as pets, and things like that. And so we're able to give them the best life here possible since they can't be re released into the wild as they have been born and ra raised in captivity. How about this, Timber? Now I, I even get to quiz you here. And so kind of some IDing. Which cheetah do we have on the, on the camera now? I'm going to take a guess and say that this is Kitu. That is Kitu. What, indi what indications told you that that was Kitu? From what I've seen of them, I feel like Kitu is usually out front a little bit more um, and just a little bit more in the center of the enclosure, whereas Lavani kind of stays back a little bit more. That makes sense. Yeah, it's, you know, Kitu really is kind of Lavani's rock, if you will, and and uh, definitely seems kind of be the dominant of the two. We can get up, and we'll be able to see Lavani on the other side of their manger. And then, of course, Kitu is always, always easily identified uh, because he ha has uh, a little spot on his lip. Uh, that gives him a unique little look as well that I, I always like identifying him with. But just another day in the life for the Cheetah Brothers. It's uh, oftentimes uh, spent cuddling in their manger or uh, soaking in the sun. We have a cloud going over us right now, but both of them are getting a, a good dose of vitamin D, rest assured. Faith saying hi to Kitu and Lavani. Thank you, Faith. Lots of hi to, to the Cheetah boys. Thanks, Angie, for the stars. Thank you, Angie. I think I heard a lion song in the distance, too. 
Yeah, and obviously you guys uh, got to probably by now seen our Facebook post on Tiger Cub Nova. And obviously we got to see uh, the live post itself on Tuesday where uh, Nova took a little field trip from her uh, quarantine yard down to a big cat habitat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we're all laughing. We're all smiling. Uh, it was just such a, uh, a fun time to see Nova getting to experience uh, just a... A taste of the life that um, she's going to have here at the Wildcat Sanctuary and uh, Timber was taking photos I was taking photos and uh, we were finally able to share some of those photos today on Facebook uh, I can only imagine that everyone uh, has already gone through those if you haven't uh, check out Miss Nova's first time outside uh, just right down below uh, this live post on our Facebook page and Timber how was it for you seeing Nova kind of run around uh, that expansive habitat. What were some of the things you were thinking? I mean, it was beautiful and just seeing the energy that she had <laughs> and being able to run around. I'm, you know, trying to follow her with my camera and she's just going all over the place. Yeah, definitely putting our, <laughs> our, uh, our camera skills to the test in terms of just tracking a subject. Yeah, and she she's much smaller than I think I was picturing when she first kind of came. Uh, a lot more you know, kind of like a, a dog almost. Yeah, definitely a, a, a miniature little thing and still packs a, a big punch. I mean, I was still just kind of looking at some of the the muscles on little Nova and just uh, really just kind of marveling in her power. Thank you, Patty, for 500 stars. Hey, Patty, Amazing. Very much appreciated. And those stars are a unique thing where uh, you know it's really something we can rely on it seems like the stars stick around even when our donate button doesn't want to um, but one star equaling one cent and uh, all those stars being accumulated and and uh, donated in entirety to us here at the Wildcat Sanctuary so thank you Kathy asking is it difficult to photograph an active tiger you know it, it can be uh, I think it really depends just on you know their mood and kind of how photogenic they're feeling yeah and there's moments where like you can really kind of predict things like daisy she's going into a stock and and you know she's going to be moving really fast but in a moment so you can kind of catch them in these predictable moments but nova in particular not only is she more small but gosh she's like a just a little rocket zipping around and and crashing around that habitat so it put me to the test even. I don't know about you, Simba. Yeah, it's definitely. And there's a lot of tall grass in that exhibit yeah, yeah. or in that enclosure. So it was definitely hard to get her just perfectly in the frame. That's right. Well, the Cheetah Boys are enjoying themselves. They got their son back. Let's uh, let's keep on cruising around. I'm, uh, maybe we can see Bobcat Beauty, or not Bobcat Beauty, Lynx Beauty. I'd love to see her on a live post. Ramsey's habitat. I was kind of glancing over when we were with the Cheetah Boys and I wasn't able to see Ramsey, unfortunately. But he says, I'm just vegging out somewhere. Thank you, Lauren, for the stars. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh. oh, well, there you are, Miss Beauty. Very true to form, Beauty. Uh, likes treating us people like prey and so you'll see her come jetting out of the bushes we didn't even know I didn't even know where she was but she had her eye on us and that's actually originally why beauty was surrendered to us here at the wildcat sanctuary uh, this Eurasian lynx was kept as a pet uh, and as many wildcats do when they come into sexual maturity they become possessive and uh, those that prey drive really kicks into kicks into gear and uh, she was treating her owner as prey. But again, uh, what would you expect from a, a wild cat that has those types of instincts? But we always get that reminder, Miss Beauty, when you come out of nowhere. Because you're watching us, but we had no idea. Hey, pretty lady. And Beauty's a big purr. And she'll kind of walk with us, Timber, if we can... Uh, bring her down the habitat a little more. Do you want to come walking or do you want to smell Ramsey's water bucket? She says, yeah, well, this is where, this is the favorite corner where everybody goes potty and we get to smell it. Hmm? I 
Look at that, Timber. Somebody <laughs> said you're doing a great job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, come on, Miss Beauty. I think you are doing a good job. There you go. Yeah. Hey, pretty lady. And Beauty is a Eurasian lynx. We just passed Ramsey. Ramsey is a Canada lynx. Uh, lynx, uh, lynx uh, very often just as much as the bobcats and servals getting caught up in the private pet trade. And also, Beauty sees a caretaker walking by and knows that it's another opportunity to stalk, so we can come over here and find her timber. And we're also right by Baby Jenga's habitat, so we can drop in and see Baby as well. Yeah, you're following us everywhere, aren't you? And you'll notice those long back legs that Beauty has. Again, this kind of ties into some of the things that Mother Nature has endowed her with. Those long legs allowing her to just kind of act like a springboard and letting her leap, leap into action. Uh, Lynx will actually go uh, after birds as well. So you can imagine that those, uh, those legs letting uh, Lynx like Miss Beauty hop into the air. Yeah. I love those big, tall hips on a lynx. See, Daria's joining us. Hey, Daria. Hey, Daria, thanks for joining. Timber's doing a live post. I'm doing a great job at that. We started out with uh, Liliger Alyssa. She was doing some uh, forage feeding in her habitat, and we also I uh, got to talk about a move that was happening. Uh, Alyssa and Gino switched habitats. Uh, Gino switched over to Alyssa's habitat and vice versa. Alyssa over to Gino's. And uh, Alyssa, along with Alana and Aurora, are going to be having spay surgeries uh, come October. And uh, very simply, Alyssa's move uh, is going to benefit her in the recovery of her spay surgery. Uh, she's going to have two large indoor bedrooms. And during uh, the period of time in her recovery, we have to limit that mobility. Um, we're still going to be able to give her a nice indoor space where she's going to feel uh, comfortable and uh, just and also just ensuring that she's going to be recovering uh, in the best way possible. Because a, sp a spay surgery for a big cat, uh, that's a large incision. So we want to make sure that everything's going according to plan, Miss Grass Eating Beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll walk over and see. Uh, maybe Timber. Let's see if that cuddle puddle is still happening. We. Uh, why don't you come across? Describe the cuddle puddle we came across this morning. Yeah. So we had the three cougars, uh, Langley, Denoma, and Noah, uh, just in a cute little cuddle puddle. You know, licking each other and grooming, and we had all three little faces looking up at us. in and see what the Noma is doing against his cave here. Yeah, and just look at the camouflage too. That's so cool. And that's the Noma the Cougar. We got to see him and Noah on a live post earlier this week as well. Talk a little bit about different segments of our uh, wildcat population here at the Wildcat Sanctuary and uh, Timber, kind of mentioning those coming from the illegal pet trade, um, those coming from closed down roadside zoos, um, but we're also home to uh, wild born orphans. I saw Langley cruising around in the background. Langley's always got a hidden agenda, always something to do. What are people getting up to in the comments, Timber? We got air kisses for Denoma. Oh, thank you, Daria. That's so sweet, Mr. Denoma. Oh. 
And uh, wishing you guys a great Thursday, Daria, and uh, wishing well to Alyssa. Thank you for that, Daria. I know that you support both of these cats. And then Timber, we, I see that Mr. Noah is coming up, so we'll just give him some space while you walk by. Hey there. Yeah, mister. Yeah. Good man. Yeah, are you coming back? He says, yes, sir. Thank you, Marvin, for the stars. Thank you. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Maria, for the stars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Sandy saying hello from West Virginia. Hello. Hey there, Sandy. Thanks for joining us today. Really is a lovely Thursday out here. It's uh, the first day of fall officially, everyone. Break out the, the pumpkin spice and wool sweaters. All that, uh, all that fall fun stuff. Our uh, leaves are surely going to be turning here pretty soon as the air uh, continues to cool as it has been. But happy first day of fall, everyone. Is that today or was that yesterday? It is today. It is today, okay. And I know that because I saw some of you guys in the comments talking about how today was the first day of fall. So okay. thanks for letting us know. Angie Pitcavage is asking, how do cougars compare in size to the lions, to so the African lions? Timber, what do you, what, what's your, how would you define that? I would say that the lions typically are a bit more stocky. I feel like the cougars, you know, they have longer legs for climbing and kind of just being out in the open. And then the lions are a little bit, you know, shorter, stockier uh, for, you know, like hunting prey and stuff like that. And the lions just overall are going to be a larger cat in general, just a larger built animal than the cougars. So uh, Mr. Denoma, he had his intake exam. I think he was in about the 140 pound range, if that, 140. Uh, the 130 uh, and then for example Monsa, Monsa, uh, her weight she's clocking in in the 300 pound range so uh, definitely a significant difference in uh, the just general size of the cats so um, with lions being uh, significantly larger. They saying it's a hundred degrees in Florida. Ooh, hot dog. And Timber, we can keep on cruising around, see if we can catch some other cats here. Otherwise, we've had ourselves a good stroll. We got to talk about uh, Alyssa's move. Uh, we got to celebrate Nova going out to her big cat habitat early this week. Obviously, we got to see that on a live post. Uh, but we got to share photos of uh, that on our Facebook page uh, earlier this morning. Nice saying her birthday was the 20th. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday. Lots of birthdays in the comments. Christiane saying her birth her brother's birthday is today. Happy go. birthday to your brother. There we go. Well, I think, uh, I think we should go to Pandora since you said that you're uh, starting to grow a fondness for Pandora. Today. Yes. Kathy saying it was 103 in Oklahoma yesterday and today is 63. We kind of had that a little bit here. Uh, I think Monday was about 82 and then the next day was about 50. So we definitely had a big temperature drop there. And you can see the consummate observers, Aurora and Alana, pretty much piling themselves on top of each other to get a better look at who's coming around the corner. Yeah, well, I heard you knocking around the ball earlier, so I bet you're tired from that. Goofballs. <laughs> well, it looks like it looks like uh, Pandora's having some quality Jeremy and Simon time.
Ellen saying the Memorial Garden is beautiful. It, it truly is. It was kind of one of the first things I noticed when I came up here and just, you know, the energy and just all the memorials for the cats. You can truly tell how much of an impact they have made here. You can see she's sitting where she is so she can have Jeremy uh, chuff at her along the fence there. So Pandora's always, always, always got to have a cat fawning over her. And lucky that she's got Jeremy and Simon because they love fawning over a pretty orange tigress. Yeah. Are you going to come say hi? She oh, says, there I she comes. She heard me say that she was my favorite, so now she's <laughs> got to come over. Yeah, hey, pretty lady. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You give the best chops. Let's hear a chop, Timber. <laughs> One more. <laughs> there we go. I like it. Pandora likes it. And it's always interesting to see kind of the varying uh, personality types of uh, the rescues here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Pandora, she says, hey, there's some people. She's a little bit more social. She wants to come over, give a chuff, say hello. Uh, now, obviously, she's settled back down and is still going back to kind of enjoying her day. Uh, but that's what she wanted to do. She wanted to come over, see the people, give us a chuff. Uh, but obviously that's kind of not mapped to all of the cats here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. You can think of uh, Tiger Logan, for example. He has a much different opinion of people and uh, his interactions with us are, are uh, significantly different than what we saw with Pandora, which is why uh, we would approach Logan differently and we would uh, operate differently when we're doing these types of live posts. And, uh, caretakers even boil that down to how they work with a cat like Logan versus Pandora. This is definitely a favorite spot for her. I see her under her little hammock almost every day. She loves it down there. The hammock on top, below, to the side. And it, I just love the size of that hammock. It's massive, massive, massive. Um, there's some good uh, old older photos of uh, when Shanti and her pride came, uh, Aslan and Asha, of them on a on a large bed and all three lions doing a lion cuddle puddle. Uh, pretty special to see. Well, Timber, is everybody doing all right in the comments there? Yep, lots of hellos to Pandora. Everyone nice. calling her Pandy, which I love. It's nice. so sweet. It's also someone mentioning that they got their issue of Uproar. I fell in love with Alana and Aurora the time I saw their picture in Uproar. That's great to hear, Betty. Rebecca's saying tiger chuffs are the best. They really are. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know what a tiger chuff was before coming to the Wildcat Sanctuary and now I'm inundated with them. Nadia is saying good job on my chuff. Thank you very much. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Faye saying Pandora chuffing at Timber. Super sweet moment. Again, she, she heard me say that <laughs> she was my favorite. So she had to ham it up for us. Well, thank you, Pandora. Thank you, thank you. Well, awesome, Timber. I'm, I, uh, I'm happy we got a little sanctuary stroll in on kind of your first live post. I hope I wasn't talking over you too much. No, you are um, good. But uh, hey, we got to see Alyssa. We got to talk about Alyssa and some things that are happening in her life, like her habitat move and her upcoming spay. We got to get happy about Tigress Nova, checking out her big cat habitat and sharing those pictures and Got to have a whole lot of fun today, I'd say. Lori saying, I think Judson was the first intern that was asked to chuff. Exactly, Lori. I, that's why I now I have to pass down the embarrassments. It's, uh, you know, hazing is wrong, but this is my, you know, maybe my form of hazing. I, 
I was asked to chuff, camera shoved in my face. <laughs> you can see her little tongue hanging out right yeah, there. Little tongue blip there from Miss Pandora. So, you know, you got to pass it along. And, uh, and everybody's been doing a great job, and I think we all get a, a laugh when we hear everyone's tiger chuff. So, uh, Timber, I'll let you do the final sign-off. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for being so welcoming to me. I really appreciate that. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to kind of continue to grow and get better and better at lives. But thanks for joining us here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday and we will see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.